Hi, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes, a YouTube channel about the latest tech trends and products. In this video, we'll discuss database security threats and best practices. At the end of it, you will find out about the most scandalous security breaches of Uber and Yahoo. Let's go! On this channel, we share our experience and the latest news in the world of tech. Subscribe now not to miss anything. And let's get started. Even an insignificant security crisis can have drastic consequences for the business. Only in April of 2020, GoDaddy, the Dutch government, United Nations, and Defense Information Systems Agency had data leaks. So how did these breaches happen? Let's review seven main database security threats. The first type is insider threats. Basically, a person who has access to the database leaks, damages, or deletes information. The next threat is human error. Usually, they happen when an employee's social media account, email, or device is compromised. To prevent it, update security policies and monitor how they are applied. 3. SQL injection attacks are carried out specifically in a database or database management system. A cybercriminal inserts attack strings written in SQL or NoSQL into a database. The HTTP protocols and data layers of the application are compromised. 4. Overflow Exploitation Sometimes the goal of security attack isn't leaking the information, but blocking the performance of the database. To achieve this, a hacker runs processes overloaded with data. The block can't hold the length of the request and stops responding. 5. Denial of Service DDoS Attacks If an attacker has a goal of blocking database performance, it can be done with many requests, not necessarily the long ones as we've just mentioned. At some point, the server can no longer handle that many requests and shuts down. 6. Backup Attacks Organizations usually aren't too careful about securing their backup files. If the main contents were compromised, an attacker is able to crack up the backup. The seventh and final threat is malware. Some attackers create malware for a particular database and send it to the endpoint devices connected to the network. So, are we able to fully secure our databases? Or can any system be compromised sooner or later? Leave your thoughts in the comments. How to secure a database, you might ask. We'll share our team's best practices we recommend adopting. We'll start with database planning measures. Take into account duplication. Use duplication detection tools to delete repetitive fragments. Remember that a bigger database size creates additional risks. Write a roadmap of securing a database step by step. The security of a database depends mainly on its type and size. If you'd like to know more about the differences between relational and non-relational databases, check out the link to our recent article in the description box. The second point is configuration. The main steps here include Cleaning database configuration code. Make sure you review all the code responsible for data layer settings. Editing user permission to avoid insider attacks and human errors. Checking the safety of network connections, data transfers, and protocols. The next point is data classification. Not all data in a database is equally meaningful. The team should classify available information and create database security standards for it. Next, security control. Monitoring is often enough to prevent the majority of database issues. Most security threats multiply and grow only because they were not removed in time. We also often conduct discovery management. Here we always bring QA team to the table. They will share efficient practices for product evaluation and testing. The tasks include writing security product requirements, estimating the cost of a data breach risk, and analyzing security approaches chosen by competitors. One more measure is vulnerability analysis, done via audits and monitoring. Usually, Jelvik's team uses automated tools that detect suspicious behavior on all endpoints. Also, take into account end-user account device security. Make a list of everyone who has access to the database. Frequently run security audits on all devices and conduct security training. And the final aspect is controls and policies. We always define three key layers of controlling database security in our projects. Administration, prevention, and detection. 
Documenting security standards is a must for all organizations. Ready to find out the examples of database security issues? Our first case is Yahoo. The network was hacked by Russian spies who targeted a user database and an account management tool. Their breach compromised all 3 billion Yahoo accounts, becoming one of the biggest security crises in history. Would you like to know what's happened to Uber? In Uber's case, the thing that stands out to us the most is not even the breach itself, but the company's strategy of handling it. Instead of reporting the stolen data, as required by law, Uber paid the hackers $100,000. That was in late 2016. It wasn't until November 2017 that Uber CEO Dara Khosrowshahi revealed that hackers had downloaded the names, email addresses, and mobile phone numbers of 57 million Uber users. The company was obliged to pay $148 million for their year-long miscommunication about a data breach. Users and businesses are finally getting aware of the importance of having strong protective algorithms. And we hope our video helped you understand the topic better. Hit the like button if it was useful. We at Jelvix provide software development, UI UX design, QA and testing, and IT consulting services. Need experts help on your project? Find our contacts in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to see upcoming digests of latest tech news and innovations. Bye-bye.